The other one I would throw out is Brock Purdy, Matthew Stafford, future yes. Hall of Famer, Tyler Murray looking real good last year in his return. If Geno Smith repeats something closer to 2022 and some of the stretches he had just last year, maybe that's your best division. I would rank the NFC West number one right now because you have Brock Purdy who say whatever you want about Brock Purdy and uh, it's a, he's a system quarterback. It's like, yeah, everybody's a system quarterback. They play in a different system. Brock Purdy fits Cal Shanahan's system. He's a quick thinking, accurate, decisive, intelligent deliverer of the football where Kyle Shanahan wants him to deliver it. He has a great offensive line, tons of great weapons, and he like he he runs the system really well. That's what that's all you wanted. Now, did they did they dream of a Shanahan system with the with Brock Purdy, but really really mobile? Yeah, that's great. Good luck finding that. It's not as easy. Purdy is mobile enough. Then Stafford, I think Matthew Stafford is the best value MVP pick on the board at like thirty to one. I love this talk. I think I'm with you completely, man. The Rams can win twelve games. They can win that division. The defense isn't as good with no Aaron Donald, and they lost uh, one of their starter quarters to an ACL uh, this week. So Stafford's going to have to throw more. You see, he puts up massive numbers. They really improved the offensive line. They had another running back in Blake Corum. That offense should be really good. I mean, Bay's energized. I, I, I'm going to pick the Rams to win the Super Bowl this year. Again, cementing Stafford's Hall of Fame legacy. I'm going to pick Stafford to win MVP because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a homer. Uh, go to Kyler Murray, as you mentioned. I was down with Kyler Murray in the Cardinals before last season. He looked awesome when he came back. And I think Jonathan Gannon's coaching staff, uh, Drew Petzing, their offensive coordinator, got a lot out of Kyler. You add Marvin, you improve everything around him. Um, you know, Paris Johnson, another year developing as, a, as an offensive tackle. And then Gino, Ryan Grubb, this, the guy from Washington, comes in as offensive coordinator with Mike McDonald. Well, I think it's really interesting that Mike McDonald worked for John Harbaugh and then worked for Jim Harbaugh before that. Jim Harbaugh had to coach mm. against Ryan Grubb's offense in the national title game. Like, I'm sure he said, hey, this is a really good offense. It's really tough to deal with. And so now you have, and people are like, well, they had a lot of weapons there. It's like, yes, you have Michael Penix, who I think you can reasonably comp to like a Gino in terms of the style of quarterback. And, you know, they had Jalen McMillan, Jalen Polk, um, and uh, Roman Dunze, right? Well, how about T DK Metcalf? Jackson Smith and Jimba and, and Tyler Lockett, like for a three-headed monster, then Kenneth White and Zach Charbonnet on, uh, in the backfield. This could be an awesome offense in Seattle. I think I think this is the division. Right, that division at large could be real strong, and that's the only thing that knocks down my optimism around the Arizona Cardinals is the company yeah. they're keeping.